eight food items that are set to skyrocket in price in fall of 2024. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Ranch with Dano and Frank, our Patriot Bald Eagle. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee or whatever beverage you deem necessary, go ahead and do that now. This will be a bit of a lengthy discussion. We have a new report in for items that we should probably all be stocking up on before fall of 2024 because these prices are most likely going to go up. Some of them already are. We're going to get right into it here. Number one, coffee. We're seeing coffee go up in price everywhere. We've been saying all summer that this was going to happen. We knew that as we got toward the fall, we were going to see less and less sales on it, which we already have been. We've been seeing less and less sales on coffee for the last couple months. A lot of prices, a lot of sales on coffees that have been $6.99, $7.99 are now $8.99 and even higher. We're seeing, And sometimes we'll see some sales come back. That is the time to jump on it. That is the time to jump on it. We've seen uh, where Kroger has just raised their big cans of coffee to $9.99. That is up from $8.99. Um, and we're seeing it all over. So these items that we are going over today, I would highly encourage you that if you use any of these items to stock up on them, the next time you go to the store, I'm not saying rush out to the store and stock up on these right now, but we've seen trends over the last couple of years of items that have gone up in price over the last couple few falls. Okay, like 2021, we had the huge increase of prices on a lot of these different items. I'll try to go over which ones those were. Uh, coffee was not one of them. However, number two is, uh, and that is produce. Produce. Yes, I said it. A lot of things that we are seeing now, we're seeing apple prices actually go up. We saw this same thing last year. It wasn't until like late October, early November that we saw any kind of sales on apples. And I think a lot of people were thinking that we were going to, and people were paying the high prices. Then all of a sudden after Halloween, right? If you remember, if you've been on the channel for a while, after Halloween, uh, we started seeing a few different sales. I remember we were seeing some different sales for three pound bags of like Gala Fuji for like two ninety nine. dollars Nothing to brag about, right? Uh, we were seeing like deals on Honeycrisp though, but Honeycrisp prices for whatever reason have come down probably because they're not selling any. If you remember last year, we were seeing uh, two pound bags of Honeycrisp apples going for $3.49 to $3.99. So if you plan on making those apple pies, if you plan on stocking up on some amp apples, you know, or if you're canning some apples, wait till you find a deal. And I'm not saying go out and spend a bunch on it, but we may actually see these prices go up as we have on a lot of other products this year that have been in season. It's only now that we are actually seeing decent deals on watermelon. You know, back during Memorial Day, we thought we were going to see some crazy good deals like $2.99, $3.99. We never saw those. We never saw those. We were seeing $4.99. I think $4.68 was the best price that I saw around Memorial Day. And that was at Walmart. And they were a little over $9 right before that. So just putting this information out here so you guys can prepare yourselves for what may come. If it doesn't, great. Then we're saving uh, in the long run. But a lot of these prices I am kind of expecting to go up. We've also had some different things go on with different recalls over the last few months. Nothing as of right now. But we've had different uh, peppers and lettuce and other produce over the last couple months that had been on recall that no longer are, but that could cause some of these prices to go up. We saw lettuce at Walmart that had skyrocketed literally to $2.18. It has come back down to $1.88, okay? But it may go up again. It may go up again. So take, uh, you know, just, just throwing that out there. Produce has been an issue for the last couple falls that we've had. Items that you think are going to come down actually go up in price. They're trying to make money, I guess, on the items that traditionally they would, you know, have plenty of and want to get rid of, right? So that is why produce is number two. Just keep your eye out on all the produce that you use, any kind of sale. We always say on the channel, that if you see a sale, buy up what, what you know you're going to use over the next couple months to get you through until the next sale. If you have ways to preserve it, right? That's another thing, and, and this is not on the list, okay, but I'm going to say this right now. We have a lot of people who can their items on the channel here. 
a lot of canners, people that uh, grow their own, which is <laughs> probably what we should all be doing. But if you're buying it from the store and canning it from there, I, I would highly encourage people to uh, maybe stock up a little bit on what you're going to need for distilled white vinegar. This time last year, we were seeing it fly off the shelf. I've seen it kind of everywhere lately, okay? But here in a couple weeks, a few weeks, we may be seeing less and less. Yes, the prices have gone up on it, but this is one I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't wait too long to get some of those big things of distilled white vinegar because if you remember last year, they were in very short supply. People were finding them. That's what I love about our channel. Uh, people were finding them all over uh, it, or in places that you wouldn't think, places online. So make sure you pay attention to the comments as well because we always we have a great YouTube family on here that's constantly helping, um, you know, talking about where to get these items if we can't find them in some of our major supermarkets. Okay, number three, I put spices, sugar, and salt again in one. Even though we haven't had too many issues with salt lately or sugar, I added that in here because we have had issues with salt and sugar over the last two or three years. And now as we're getting into the the uh, baking season here, we may see less and less. And not just that, we may see prices go up on that as well. This is kind of a combination video here of prices that are most likely going to go up and ones that we have seen shortages of this time of year. So the, <coughs> excuse me. But we have seen sugar come down in price. We've seen salt actually really go up, except for store brands. Kind of makes you think, is Morton's going out of business? What's going on here? I mean, the thing is, what I what I think it is, is people are saving any way they can. More and more people are buying like store brand items because they are way cheaper. And these places like Morton's and stuff, they keep raising their prices. And it's like, people aren't stupid. Right? They're going to be like, okay, well, maybe I'll try the store brand salt. And if I don't have an issue with it, I'll just keep buying it. And that is where that is where companies like Morton's is failing. Because it's like, I, I get it. You know, you're you're struggling, right? You're charging $1.79 for a canister of salt, which is insane. Um, but you have all these places like Walmart, Aldi. Aldi is $0.66. Cents. I think Walmart, did Walmart come down to $0.62? Cents? No. Maybe it's 60 I don't know. It was seventy-two cents, and now it's under seventy cents. So I, I think it's it's re probably really close to what Aldi is, maybe sixty-seven cents, but still half the price, less than half the price of what you're going to pay for Morton. So more and more people are catching on to this and saving any which way they can. Uh, and spices, we continue to see spices go up in price. We're going to continue to do so. We've seen we, this. We have seen store brands go up in price. And I think it's because they don't really have much of a choice. It's like either get it or get rid of it. We're not going to charge this much or we're just going to get rid of it. Look at what Walmart has done. I've seen it at two different Walmarts in two different states. Okay, the one in Fort Wright, Kentucky and the one here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, they've been getting a lot more McCormick and stuff, getting getting spices in that if you're going to pay the price, you know, they want to fill the shelf. They want to fill the shelf because they can't get these other ones that they've traditionally gotten for dirt cheap. They do have some great value ones, but if it's like our Walmart, they're pretty wiped out. They were pretty wiped out at the one in Kentucky too, which I was kind of surprised. I thought maybe it was just our Walmart, but we've been getting more and more comments from you guys all around the country that... It's been a constant issue, and it's been an issue for a long time. We saw for a while they were coming, well, not really great value coming in, but we saw a lot of other ones like Mrs. Dash and all these other ones. Now we're starting to see them all disappear. Um, but that now we're seeing where they're putting McCormick in there just to have a familiar name. And again, they're probably just putting it in there to fill the shelf, right? So, okay, number four. This was an issue last year. I haven't seen, we, we got a couple comments on this, so I just wanted to throw it out here, okay? This was about this time last year, okay? So that is what we're going over for this. Uh, frozen vegetables was an issue last year. Now, <clears throat> it became an issue a few weeks into September, okay? We were seeing a lot of frozen vegetables missing, uh, except for Kroger. Now, Kroger pays a high price. You know, it's $1.25 a bag, right, for, for their frozen vegetables. So it's a little more than some of the cheaper ones, but we were seeing them wiped out at Walmart, we were seeing them wiped out at Aldi, Meyer, pretty much all the other stores that I shop at, uh, they were wiped out. And we were getting a lot of comments this time of year, last year, 
uh, that there were a lot of missing frozen vegetables. And I, I feel like if this happens again, we are going to start to see some price increases on it. I think a lot of these different frozen items are about to go up in price and is in part why I'm mentioning this and why it made number four on the list. Uh, number five, and I do believe that this is happening, guys. Um, and I have this kind of all... This is canned goods, okay? We're going over canned goods. Canned meats, I believe, are going to start going up again, okay? So we haven't seen a lot go up at uh, at Walmart in a while, but we've been seeing some of them go up. We saw where Hormel has gone up a little bit. Uh, canned Hormel chilies and stuff have just been on the increase. Um, canned tomatoes I put on here, they've already increased. They may go up again. They may go up again because of the shortages, because of what happened last year where it was very hard to find canned tomatoes. Hunts had a big issue, as most of us remember. Uh, Rotel uh, went away and then immediately came back at a higher price. So we never really had an issue with Rotel, but that's what it was. Came back at a higher price. So if we start seeing these disappear, keep in the back of your head that these are probably going to go up in price again. It wouldn't surprise me to see Hunts go to like th the three for five or something at Kroger, where it's going to be possibly, possibly a dollar sixty-seven a can. That is kind of the trend that we see with Kroger. We always see like Meyer a couple pennies cheaper than that, but they don't usually have like the different varieties that some of these other places have. Uh, Walmart has already raised their prices on canned beans and their canned tomatoes. Now that was just before summer. I think it was back. Well, it was actually about right about April. Um, but only a few pennies, but these are things that we can see go up again. Now we're seeing kind of some issues of some major shortages of great value canned vegetables, mostly the corn, green beans, peas, the ones we always talk about, the cheapest ones that are 64 cents a can at Walmart. Okay. Well, people have been talking about Aldi and the happy harvest. Shocking that they're both happening at the same time, right? Okay. So the thing is, is that with two stores that are in constant competition with each other, one keeping it just a penny lower than the other, right? And the fact that we're seeing them low in both places, yeah, you could say that people are shopping more here and that they're buying these up. Well, you know what? It's never been an issue over the last year or two. When we start seeing major shortages of them, then that means they're coming back at a higher price, okay? I'm not 100% on that. I'm just going by what I see as I do this on a daily basis, okay? So just throwing it out there, you know, you may want to you know, make sure you have a little bit because, because the, the bean issue was a big one last year too. If you guys remember, a lot of beans went away. We, we saw where and people were talking about this all over the country. Some of the canned beans at Walmart where they were disappearing. We saw where ours were disappearing too when they initially went up from 78 cents to 82 cents. Okay, this was about a year ago. And then just six months ago, we saw the same thing happen. What happened? They came back in. Now they're 86 cents a can. So, you know, it's like these are things that it's like if we can jump ahead of it now, maybe save a little bit. But more importantly, you want to make sure you have it for your different chilies and stuff like that. And I understand a few pennies doesn't make too much of a difference. But when you start adding that up, look at your receipt. Look at what your receipt was last year and compare that to this year. I, I, I would almost guarantee that most of you are probably buying the same items uh, last year that you are right now. And if you are, check that out. Let us know down in the comments. How much more are you spending on the same products that you buy on a... Say you're going to the grocery store, you buy your stuff for a week. How much more are you spending on that now than you were last year? On average, it, it's difficult for me and Jess to say that because I'm in the stores every day. I'm always getting the deals as we go. But I would have to say that it's probably up 25%. For, for what we buy, even going in to the stores every day, most every day, and buying up these sales, I would have to say that our bill is up 25%. And that may be a low number, but I'm taking the low number on that. And I'm sure most of you out there, that number is probably higher as to where I only buy the sales. I only buy the deals. And that's how we're able to save like this. But if I'm doing that and mine is right around 20 to 25%, I can't imagine what it's like for some people, especially if you have kids. Oh boy, I bet it gets really expensive. But anyway, okay. Uh, number six here, pet food. We've been getting a lot of comments on pet food lately. This is something where um, 
I do believe it's going to come back at a higher price. We saw a lot of places where they've lowered a little bit. Okay, we're going to start seeing those go up again. There have been some people that have commented from Aldi that they don't, that you haven't even gotten the little tiny premium heart to tail cat foods back in, the canned cat food. Um, and I, I, I've i seen it come back in. We saw it gone for a while. Ours has it back in. But I think the next thing is going to kind of be dry food because we see this happen, right? Where the can, the canned goods. And I'll be honest with you, you know, it's like when they come out and they say, well, we're raising the prices on the cans because of the, the can shortage or this or that or this or that. And then like a couple of weeks later, we see the bagged cat food go up in price big time. We've seen a lot of them and, and then we see these little bit of deals where they'll come down. I kind of think stores are tricking us in a way, um, in some way, right? I mean, it's like, I think they're let's say they're approaching it differently when it comes to a deal, right? They know that people are paying attention to the regular prices, probably because of people like me, which, you know, I get it. I'm trying to show everybody how to save money. And if somebody is out there trying to uh, raise the price way up and then have a sale on it, well, okay, yeah, until it's gone. And then all of a sudden it's $5 a can or whatever it is anymore. Just, just an example. But anyway... We see this. We'll we'll see this like with like take those little bags of meow mix when they went they went up to six twenty nine right and then came down to five ninety nine at Kroger right they lowered the regular price but but then it just goes back up again so it's like you you might as well have just put a sale on there but I I get it because when you show the regular price at five ninety nine wow this came down in regular price maybe we'll see a better sale the problem is that we don't see a sale anymore that is the long term sale. I guess we see that a lot with like cases of water and stuff like that. And that's not just here. That's everywhere. We've got a lot of comments on that. Okay. Uh, but yes, yeah, stock up on your pet food. Uh, if you see them, uh, you know, for a decent price that these are most definitely, I would say most definitely going to go up in price here toward the fall. This is when we saw it was about a year and a half ago. I remember it was like the beginning of summer of last year of 2023, where we saw, pet food that was coming back in right because we had the shortages of it sure enough went way up in price so uh and again you have trouble uh with getting pet food uh or you know if you know try and save as much as you can always check out chewy.com we have a lot uh quick disclaimer too they are not paying me to say this i am just saying this because i know we have a lot of cat and dog lovers and animal lovers on the channel here and i want to make sure that you're able to get the uh food for your pets right? And Chewy.com has delivered. They have, even when we had the pet food scare two years ago, guys, I'll tell you what, Chewy was coming through for a lot of our viewers. And I'll tell you what, that's, that's good. I mean, we were going to PetSmart, we were going to Pet Supply, all these different places around the tri-state to try and see where at least people could order online for it. And it was like, well, we ain't getting it. They weren't getting it. But Chewy was. Chewy was, and some other places that we were showing people to check out, right? I know some people, you know, we were going to like Dollar General and, and Family Dollar. Like, yeah, you're going to pay a little more here, but they got it. You know, I mean, I don't know. But hopefully we don't run into that issue. But because of all this, because of all the stuff that has been disappearing to, we've been seeing a lot of friskies that has been like not around. Um, still having a few, right? Still having a few in stores, but we're finding friskies very low. So if I had, to, if I was a gambling man, uh, I would be betting that that one's going to be going up in price soon. And if you find a good deal, make sure you stock up on uh, friskies or whichever ones you buy for your cats. I haven't seen any issues with dog food other than the price increase a couple months ago. And who knows? We never really know when these prices are going to go up, guys. We have to set ourselves on trends and different things going on you know, and, and basically going over a, like a handful of these, say pet food, same was the thing with pet food last year, beginning of summer, but still, I think that's going to be an issue as we are starting to see some of the, some of the same things as we've seen in the past. Okay. Number seven, I put this as a whole here. Okay. Meat, chicken, pork. Okay. Meat prices are, are most definitely going to go up more. I, I, they keep going up. They really do. We see a sale on it, which as we all know, sales have been less and less. We saw a couple Labor Day sales, but those sales are over. Okay. Also, I think the Meyer ribeye sale is over too. Somebody mentioned in the comments that uh, that ended on today, Labor Day. 
you know, they, they had all those scattered out. It's, you know, you can't, but they were twelve ninety nine a pound on sale, sixteen ninety nine a pound regular price. Now, as to where we have been seeing a lot of sales on pork lately because of the holiday, I have been noticing that the regular prices are starting to skyrocket. And they have been for the last couple months. We're seeing racks of ribs for like $5.99, even $6.49 a pound when not on sale. Okay, so uh, if we continue to see less and less sales on those, which we probably will, right? Because they're cleaning house now before the next prices go up. Chicken is going to start going up too, guys. And, oh, and one I didn't even put on here, the eggs. The eggs. People are saying that eggs have been disappearing because they've been doubling in price. And I actually expect egg prices to go up even higher because this drove, this is like the start. I know people were saying like when we saw egg prices go up a dollar on like a 12 count, like a month or two ago, I was like, they continue to call a lot of these chickens and this is going to catch up. Well, we saw where Walmart had dropped, right? The initial drop to $1.96, which is still crazy. Uh, and now they've nearly doubled at $3.77. I did see them at Meyer for two eighty nine dollars after being two nineteen, dollars right? So those haven't doubled yet, which I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, some stores might actually take a hit on this. To get your business. I know, I know, you know, I love Meyer, but I don't know. A lot of these things, you know, a lot of these places are getting outpriced in some things. And, and I think some stores like Meyer, especially Walmart is the is the ace when it comes to this. Walmart will just say, Oh, okay, well, our customers aren't gonna pay that. Thanks anyway, and throw it out the door. And they're gonna put something else in there, like McCormick, you know, <laughs> or some of these other brands. You know what I'm saying? We we had this issue with rice. Like six or seven months ago, you notice Walmart's getting all these different kinds of rice. It's like, oh, well, we can't, we can't charge that. We're not going to get the money for it. It's just going to sit there. Okay, well, well, we'll get this, this jasmine rice that everybody's talking about, the, the Thai Hamali rice there, right? We're just going to throw it on the shelf. I liked how they, I don't like how they did this, but they were starting to sell that for fifteen ninety eight when they first got it. It was fifteen ninety eight, and then it jumped up four dollars in like two weeks. Now, to be fair, that was the price pretty much everywhere, and Walmart was still a dollar, right? They were still a, a, a dollar under, right, of that, those big bags of the Thai Hamali rice, right? They're twenty ninety seven at Walmart, pretty much uh, $22 everywhere else, give or take. And, uh, you know, it's just it's crazy, you know? It's <laughs> but, I mean, hopefully people who bought that, you know, were able to save a little. I was shocked, though. I was like... How does that jump up four dollars? And I was seeing it at a lot of other stores for twenty-two dollars. So, and that hasn't gone up in price yet. So, anyway, number eight, chocolate. This is one that people have been talking a little bit about on the channel. We have gone over this several times over the summer. We knew this was going to be an issue. Not necessarily the issue you might think. Remember last year when they were coming in the year before. So it was like I wasn't fooled last year, and I was even telling people I was like, uh. They said there was going to be this candy, you know, Halloween candy and all this shortage and all this stuff. And it never happened, you know, and it's like, or people were stocking up on it or they were just trying to get you to race to the store and buy up all this Halloween candy. The issue it seems to be solely chocolate and we're seeing it in issues for baking your own items. Yesterday, I was pretty much in shock when I went to Meyer and I saw a 10 ounce bag of chocolate morsels. I think it was $4 and 58 cents. Almost $5. Usually right before Christmas, you can get two of those for $5. Now, they had them on sale, two for eight. <coughs> I've, excuse me, I've never seen a sale on those for, for like less than like three, I've seen them like two for seven before. But now two for eight, that's $4. That's meaning you have to buy two of them. At $4 a piece. That's why I was like, uh, maybe we should just hold off on this. Because if you're going to pay that, you might as well roll the dice and wait until you're getting ready to do, you know, baking some cookies and stuff like that. Because it's like, come on. That's like a slap in the face. $4 is still too high for a 10-ounce pack. It was eight nineteen for a 20 ounce bag. So you're not really even saving much 
that's 19 cents better than your your other sale guys i'm telling you we're just we're gonna see less and less sales prices are gonna be going up as they always are um and i have a feeling i hate to say it guys but i have a feeling a lot of people are going to be taking advantage of it this fall don't overpay for some of these things. Maybe try something, get creative with some of your baking. I know this is a big time of season for, for people, you know, wanting to do your pies and stuff like that. And yeah, these things are going to go up in price. Um, and I wouldn't let it, you know, I wouldn't let it get you down too much. You know, I mean, you can always get some of these products for a little cheaper at Walmart or Aldi, but they've gone up there too. So as far as chocolate goes and the chocolate increases that we have talked about we knew this was going to happen i was telling people to you know stock up on this months ago but i understand you know if you know you're not going to use it for a long time it, it's hard and if you don't have the space of the room it's hard to do that but guys i'll tell you what these items right here i do believe every one of these items are even if it's just a little bit i believe they're going to be going up in price i think meat chicken and pork are we're going to be seeing obviously we're seeing less and less sales on meat on beef okay uh, and we've seen it increase at some of the places where you're used to getting an incredible deal. Sam's Club, right? Sam's Club. It's not going to be long before the steaks go up in price at Sam's Club again either. Or Costco. Costco and Sam's are usually neck and neck with each other. They're kind of like Walmart and Aldi. They're usually off by like a penny. Costco is usually like one penny higher than Sam's Club when it comes to meat products. Maybe they're buying from the same store. I don't know. The ground beef at Costco, I would have to argue, is a little better than Sam's. But I like them both. Um, but yeah, guys, just stock up on these things as you see them. Try and save where you can. Don't overpay. Make sure that you are stocking up on the sales as you see them because who knows what these prices are going to be like next month, next week, or even tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.